Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning, and we trust that you are having a great uh, week this week. Um, today, uh, the title of our devotion is Christ is Your Glue. Mm. And this is a, a, I love the scripture in Colossians chapter 1, verse 17 through 20. And God the Father has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into his kingdom of his son he loves, in whom we have redemption, forgiveness of sin. He is the Im uh, image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven, on earth, visible, invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and he is, and in him, he, he, in him, all things hold together. Yeah, Stay that with that thought right there. In him, all things are held together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn among the dead, so that in everything he might have. Um, and, and the King James says preeminence there, even, or it means supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on the earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. God he holds made, it all together. He holds it all together. I want you to hang on to that thought. You know, uh, God, God made us. And your body is made up of 100 trillion microscopic things called cells. We know right. about cells, right? Mm -hmm. Cells are the basic unit of life. They are the foundation of every living thing. But do you know that there is a glue that literally holds the cells together? Uh, these, uh, this glue is called lamamines. Lamamines, I believe that's how you pronounce Lamin. it. Lamamines. Mm -hmm. And uh, they hold the molecules or the cells uh, together. And without these, then literally we would fall apart, all right? The coolest thing about these lamamines is what they look like. The glue that holds you together, the foundation upon which your body is built, comes in the shape of a cross. Oh, no. oh man, that gives me goosebumps, I'll tell you. That is awesome. If you don't think God didn't think oh, this man, is he smart or what, right? I mean, is God smart? You know, he, he's way smarter than we are. Take trust us, okay? But I love that scripture says, in him all things uh, hold together. It is the cross that holds us together, mm -hmm. even into the microscopic places that we can't see, Marsha. Right. You know, Tiger, when Apostle Paul had to say, he says, for a, by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, mm. whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created, created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. Mm. So by his words yes. and these lamines, lamines are holding everything together. Every cell That's in the world, the trees, the, this chair I'm sitting on, I don't the know. Molecules. The molecules. The molecules holding it together. <laughs> we uh, at least know the cells in your body, right? Well, the cells, in, but I'm saying he he holds things together. Yes, he does, everything. You know, and he cannot lie. If he lied, then every, because because he spoke everything That's into right. existence, right? He spoke, he said, let there be light, and there was light. He created it with his words. words. So if his words are not true, then everything falls everything apart, Everything would right? just dissolve. Dissolve. Yes. Yes. Everything in the universe would dissolve. Amen. Praise God. I love the fact that uh, because of Jesus, we don't have to worry about eternity. That's right. You know, he holds us together spiritually in our lives. You know, Marcia, I see a lot of times people that they're overwhelmed by um, the challenges in life, you know, and we'll say to them, they'll say, Pastor, what do I do? And I, can't, I say, just keep standing on the word. Mm -hmm. It is Jesus that holds us in that place to keep us there together with him. When we're locked together, because aren't we, aren't we uh, bound to him by the cross? Amen. By that same thing, Amen. you know? Oh, wow. And his word tells us he's going <laughs> to take care of us. Every he's day. He's going to see us through. He's going to make, we're more than conquerors through him who, who lives in us. Amen. Amen. And, and so as we stand on the word, as we walk out his word, no, no matter what, how much 
uh, hell has been broken up and bound against you, you stand. Yeah. Because you're going to come out on the other side, look back, and see yes. what God has done. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll see how he has held you together. I mean, That's right. Listen, no matter what's coming at you today, and, and we all face challenges in our life, you just need to know that God is holding. He's connected Amen. to you. As a Christian, he's connected to you through that cross. Praise and God. he's going to hold you steadfast. <laughs> Stay steadfast. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day today.